We're obviously gonna talk about hammers. The hammer in the room right here, this big cutaway, we'll get to that in just a moment. But a dead blow absorbs rebound or recoil when the hammer strikes. It is an extremely useful tool as it minimizes damage to the struck surface and its minimal rebound helps to avoid accidental damage to precision work, especially when working in tight areas. Now the reaction force is countered as the shot descends to fill what they call the face end of the head. The blow is less sharp than that of the conventional hammer and it feels more dead, less elastic rebound to the user, hence the name. So Scott, technology here, there is a difference when it comes to hammers and especially snap-on tools hammers. As we've talked about before with things like screwdrivers or some of these tools that we don't really think about, there's a lot of engineering that goes into this that we think about at Snap-on. And as you pointed out, this is just a very large cutaway of what our hammer- Wait, this is not the new 110 this... Snap-on dead blow hammer? Come <laughs> this on. Is, this is not the new <laughs> hammer, right? So let's just go through some of the features and benefits of this. So. The first and foremost, normally this inside a hammer, this would be a metal cap. So, so you have, inside of this is a is, metal, is is a, a metal is, cylinder. Is a metal cylinder with shot loaded in it. And then the handle for the hammer is then welded to this metal. And the reason we show this as a clear version is we wanna show what makes a dead blow, snap on dead blow great. And that's the free flowing shot design. And so right in front of you, we have two different tubes. Again, rudimentary mock-up, but it's a clear tube, right? So the one you're holding is our style shot, free flowing head. So flip that over. Okay, Boom. so you see how quickly that shot flows through the tube and comes back down to the face, right? Do it one more time, right? Nice and quick, okay? Competitor units take the rod and run it through the cap all the way through the actual material and then the shot flows around it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna flip it over and I want you to watch how slow that can go. Okay, so think of it like an hourglass. Right? Yeah, it's gonna take a lot more time, hence the name Hourglass. I'm thinking more of like a rain stick, you know, those things you go, it sounds beautiful, but is it getting the job done? The point I raise about this is it's all about efficiency. So you want that shot to transfer as quickly and as efficiently as possible from cap to cap, so that when you strike something, it is delivering all the blow as fast as possible. And when it goes all the way through, it will act dead and not reverberate back to you. So that's important. It's all about precision, even something as simple as a hammer. Right, and as we're talking about efficiency, we use a very heavy duty metal cap on the end of dead blows. And we do that because it allows us to deliver 40% more blow based on the cap style that we use. And again, it's about delivering that force through. If you're hitting something, you don't wanna keep hitting it, you wanna hit it and be done. Yeah, right? and, and again, we talk about the, the user, the technician using the hammer, efficiency, grip, feel, all of that equates to how long because there's some technicians that have a hammer in their hand all day. And another really unique feature to ours is we use a composite shaft in the handle. And the reason I bring that up is because it's composite, it's very lightweight. Our competitors use a steel rod and why that's important, number one, is for the user and fatigue, right? So you're gonna get less reverberation from a composite material, it's gonna absorb that shock. And it's also for weight. Let's talk about the ball peen technology here. What do we have? And this is what's really cool. Again, we use a high grade steel case with these heavy duty steel end caps, again, delivering the blow where you want it. But what's unique about ours on the ball peen is, is that where we attach the handle to the actual hammer head surface, this is a free floating design and that's important because it takes the reverberation out of the ball peen. So when you strike something, if this was welded to it, you're gonna feel that come down through the handle into your hand and up into your elbow. When you make it into a sliding sleeve, and you sort of divorce it from it being welded to the head and then you encase it in this thermoplastic, this will allow you to efficiently deliver your blow and not have the reverberation. So there's a really cool slow-mo video we'll put on screen that shows when you strike with a ball peen, one of our ball peens, you strike a metal plate at a certain speed, we actually can measure how much reverberation comes through the handle. There's a little sensor on there, right? So you go through, you strike it, and then you put our competitor's unit that have this as a welded piece and you do the exact same thing, same speed, you'll see the spike, how much difference in spike there is. And that's the fatigue that happens. That's what you're feeling in your arm. And yeah. that's what can cause fatigue and can hurt. Yeah, analogously speaking, would you rather ride in a car that has no suspension, just metal, and you're riding just on the tires? Or would you have something a little softer, cush, shock, coilover spring, right? I mean, which one would you rather have? I'm going with the cushy ride. I That's want, I want right. the Cadillac. Oh, right? I know you. I know you very well, Scott. Again, that thermoplastic urethane material, non-sparking, resistant to shop chemicals. But uh, let's talk about 
because there's a variety of hammers. We don't have them all up here, but what are our sizes, both dead blow and ball peen? Right, so on the dead blow side, we have 16, 24, 32, 48, and 56. So nice variety, the 56 for doing your big jobs and you've got the 16 for doing your small jobs. Then we jump over to the ball peen side. We step one more down to an eight ounce because sometimes you are doing some precision work, right? So maybe you're running a punch or a chisel or something like that and you're just doing a little bit of finesse work. So we go down to eight here, but then we step up 16, 24, 32, 40, and we have a brand new 56 ounce. Technicians asked us for something even heavier because there are some of those jobs, especially in heavy duty shops where you really need to deliver a blow. So we brought out the 56 now. And this is just the dead blow, the ball peen, showing you the technology. We have a lot of specialty hammers for technicians as well. Right, so we have piston driving hammers. So if you do a lot of engine work, this will allow you to drive pistons into cylinders without damaging anything. We have slim lines, so if you're working in restricted access or low profile where accessibility is an issue, we've got those. We have what's called a dual face drilling hammer, which is similar to a ball peen, but it just has metal flat caps on both sides, one smaller than the other. So it lets you decide, do I want to use a larger face or a smaller face and say a 24 or a 32 ounce. Then we have bronze hammers, which bronze is a soft material. So more it's malleable. Not, more malleable, so it's not going to damage anything. It's great for non-spark application. And then we have plastic tip and think of it as sort of a consumable hammer, right? So if you know you're gonna be hitting a stud or something like that and you're gonna mar the tip up, the plastic tip will allow you to change out your caps because we have two different durometers, a little bit harder version and a little bit softer. So you can change those out as they start to wear out. Picking this thing up, 56 ounces of dead blow hammering, right? But uh, it's got a nice soft grip to it as well. This is really interesting that our engineering department even went to a very exhaustive length to get the right durometer. We have tried to match the durometer of your hand, the palm of your hand, to the actual soft grip. So what that means is, is that when you put it in your hand, it feels really nice, you know it's not gonna slip, you can grab a nice hold of whatever hammer you have, especially the 56, and have confidence that's not gonna slip. That's important when you're throwing something yeah. around. Different solvents, different chemicals on your hand, this is great. Well, the jury has spoken, there's a new judge in town, no more Judge Judy, no more Judge Wapner, not even Judge Springer, Judge Deanda is here. Court's adjourned, snap-on tools, hammers, there is a difference.